I've just left the Buck Inn. Uh, the Buck Inn is uh, a pub near Claybank Top. It's about four and a half miles away, which is just over seven kilometres away in Australian terms. And uh, you sort of have to make a phone call from the Waynestones, which is about um, 30 or so minutes away from the, the road back here. Uh, you give a call uh, to the pub and then they send a car up for you and it picks you up and it drives you the four uh, miles, four and a half miles to the pub and you stay there and then the next morning you have breakfast and then at 8.30 they drop you back off. I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of those people all over the world, in England, in Australia, different parts of the world, America, uh, that have just constantly been sending comments of love and support and prayers to me. Uh, it's meant so much because, that, you know, if it wasn't for you, I don't know that I'd be here right now. And so uh, a big shout out. Thank you, every one of you. Special shout out to Pastor Jerry, Jonathan, Neil and Alison Grady and Belief Church back home. You guys are standing in for me too. And Kezia and the office team, thank you guys. Love your heaps. Hello. Hear that guy over there? Don't know what it is, some kind of turkey. Having a go. They shoot those things, I think. So I've got to watch out for, for, the, for the... You hear a few gunshots. I'm not going to shoot you. Okay. Well, I've reached the famous Lion Inn. It's a very isolated pub, and for a minister, I've got to be honest, I've never been so pleased to see a pub. <laughs> Spent most of the day today uh, walking through the Yorkshire Moors, fairly flat. Uh, well, I guess in many ways fairly boring, no, nothing much worth filming, nothing much uh, worth to say, hour upon hour upon hour of just um, really flat, flat, barren <laughs> wilderness. It's just on 5am in the morning and I'm leaving the Arncliffe Arms where I stayed last night on my final night on the walk for Olivia. And I, I think I'm heading in the right direction. I'll check my, my map in just a moment. And uh, this is the last day, no more sleeping in B&Bs and youth hostels. This is the last day of the Wolf for Olivia. I'm on my way to Robin Hood's Bay. This is the Beggar's Bridge. Not sure why they call it that. Beggar's Bridge. like to say on this uh, last video um, of the walk for Olivia on this last day um, how much I've appreciated all those that have um, supported the um, walk for Olivia cause and those that have made donations towards uh, DARE Karen John's um, incredible organization that's getting out there and really at the coal face of domestic abuse and uh, um, really helping victims and so I want to thank those that have um, uh, uh, gone online and donate, made a donation and, and supported through the Chuffed website. Big shout out to Chuffed. Thank you for the training and the help and support that Chuffed has given us and the website. You can click on the link uh, below any of the most of the videos and this video too and and uh, find out more about it from there and you'll see also Chuck's link will be in there as well and so but thank you for the donations those that have donated thank you um, 
it's not too late if you want to get involved, you want to support a little bit, uh, any amount will be fantastic. Uh, but those that have already donated want to give you a big shout out and thank you so much for your support. It will help. It's actually quite beautiful walking through this forest at first light. I was outside on the, on the road at five and uh, ready to go. And it is magical here. And so, um, so I'm hoping I get into Robin Hood's Bay, maybe about 1.30 or something. Uh, but look at this, this is just beautiful. Sun's coming up. Light streaming in on the trees. It's just a magical forest. Beautiful. Why not? Walked through some fancy estate behind me. Quite beautiful. We're coming into a uh, heartbeat country where they um, film that TV show, so, and Grosmont. There's a deer in front of me, actually. I don't think you can see it from here, but uh, a little deer. Oh, okay, so, and, ah, oh, don't think you can quite see it, but there's a deer up ahead. <laughs> Are you a guard llama? Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Are you cute? Some nettles here, gotta be careful. Interesting morning this morning. Deer and llama. There we go. It's going to be an interesting day on my last day on the walk for Olivia. <laughs> Deer and llama already. How about that? There you go. Seen some oaks already this morning. Huge oaks. And I'm thinking, man, these things are hundreds of years old. So, it's going to be an interesting, certainly, start to the day. This is the old toll house. Still has the toll sign on the house there. But there'll be no paying of toll today. Just coming into Grosmont. It's only 6.30 in the morning, so I'm pretty sure all the choo-choo trains are gonna be asleep. So I actually don't mind too much. I'm, uh, my main focus is uh, finishing the um, the coast to coast and seeing my family. So I can come back, see the choo-choo trains another day. And uh, It's all quiet at Grosmont, so 
I'm just having a little quick walk. See if there's any steam trains here. I don't know whether there is. Certainly there's a, a carriage here, probably no steam engines, but I'll have a quick walk, see what's here. See the old carriages, cannot see steam engine at all, but at least I can see the old carriages. Mm, no, that's not like a steam engine. See what's here. Was not. Well, here's my first glimpse of the sea. You can actually say I, I can see it. Um. Well. Well, here I am, back at the coast again, two weeks later. The only difference this time is, is my backpack is lighter. And I guess that's symbolic also is uh, that in many ways, I think I'm carrying a lighter load. Um, I don't think I've got as much baggage as I had two weeks ago. I haven't got as many preconceived ideas. I'm not as naive. One of the things I also learned the most is, is that you need, you need people to come alongside and help. You need not to be afraid to ask for help. And, I, and I've had a lot of people that came alongside and helped me and a lot of friends that have been a great help to me and support to me along the way. And I really appreciate that. So I'm back here again at the coast. And uh, I think my aspirations are a lot simpler. And... Um, uh, <laughs> life is a lot simpler for me at the moment and uh, and I'm appreciative of the help that I've had so just keep your eye on the tide <laughs> I want you in the picture come here come here okay I've got to get the camera on. This is my... I'm eating an ice cream, my wife just got... This is my backup support man. Um, John was with me every step of the way, by phone every day. He'd come out to me on the coast to coast. I couldn't have done it without this man. This is John Cram and he's a le living legend. Okay. Legend. 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 All right, so here we are at, at the... Um, this is Robin Hood Bay. Yeah. And um, I'm eating an ice cream. My wife, my wife showed up. I didn't expect to see her. So um, tradition is that you. <laughs> G'day, how's it going? <laughs> Some other fellow Aussies? No, 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 no. Ah, no. oh, sounds like it. Oh, hey, <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh yeah, we're just just doing the official thing for YouTube. Oh, fantastic. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Wonderful. Thank you. We did it for charity, so that's oh, what. Great. So we're doing it live. You're on. You're on camera now. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. You haven't, you haven't yeah. got a police record or anything. Not this week. No, no. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Have a good okay. day. Cheers. So here we go. So um, the, the official thing is we're going to put our put our feet in the North Sea now. We we did this on the Irish Sea, and so I've got the two stones. I've got um, one for Olivia. This is for Olivia, and uh, we we got this from the Irish Sea, and. Uh, this this represents this represents um, my mom Olivia Palmer the walk for Olivia she was a victim of domestic abuse and this also represents um, Dare Karen Johns her organisation all of those victims that that that, that she is supporting uh, and all those that really have have got on board and have donated to the for the for the walk for Olivia this represents them so we're gonna we're gonna ca ca cast this into the sea when this young fellow walks past. So here we go, this is for them. Okay, that's gone. And this one here is my, this is my one here. And uh, this is for my family. And uh, this, is, this carries my heart. And this is really, this is my, uh, uh, this is for my family, for my wife, my daughter. This is my personal stone for the people that I love the most. And I'm sending this out there right now.
that's gone out there too. So now, John, you can film this and you can get me in there. Let's get my fingers off the lens. Off the lens, that's it. You get my feet. Okay. Right. Right. See so your feet. Nobody else will want to watch you look at your feet. <laughs> so here, this is this is as, this is as wet as I'm going to get. Right. In the in the North Sea. All right. We're done. You're in. We're in. That's the finish from one coast to the other, coast to coast, the walk for Olivia. We're done. Thank you very much for following me. Really appreciate your support. Thanks, John. Thank okay, you. Man. There you go. And here's a surprise backup team. Here's my wife. Hello. And Guy Cramman in the front seat here. Hello. It's great to have Janan here supporting me. Yes, I'm wonderful. There you are, you are wonderful. I love you, darling. This is it. We're going up yeah. out of yeah. that's John Cramman. Heavy load. John Cramman's just done donuts in the sand. And we're now going up out of what is it? Robin Hood. Robin Hood's Park. <laughs> getting down here was a challenge. Yeah, we'll get up. We'll no, getting up will be a challenge. A as challenge well. as well. Well, it's a challenge you can do on your backside. Ha, ha, ha.